Shimmy, 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 shake. Remember that uh, B-52 song, Rock Lobster? Shimmy, shake. Is that a shake? Or is that Love Shack? Shimmy, shake. I don't know. There's a B-52 song that goes shimmy, shimmy, shake. It's either Rock Lobster or, or Love Shack. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, she was having the shimmy, shimmy shakes there with the Maximus minibus there up in Massachusetts. She's trying to get her uh, bus, her her wonderful bus, ready for, um, for you know, possibly some sort of traveling sometime later this year and, uh, and uh, lots of problems with it. Uh, first off, she gets this horrible shimmy shake that goes on in the bus. And uh, anyway, we need to get some pictures of the bus. We, the, the thing about, I got to advise Mary, more pictures of the bus, okay? People want to see the bus, you know, and there's... Um, very little, very few pictures of the bus. There's the bus. There's the head. There's at least part of the bus, okay? It's a big blue bus. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, and uh, and the other problem with the bus is the um, is that it's really slow to kind of, when you're out on the highway and you're going from, like, say, 50 to 60, it takes a couple hours to get from, you know, not that long, but it's very slow to accelerate. So anyway, uh, Mary has some issues, and she eventually finds a fairly good mechanic who can work on calipers and fuel filters and and uh, oil burner oilburners.net. Yeah, she has a diesel, right? So it's a diesel, and there's some special things you gotta know about diesel vehicles, uh, and um, you know how to treat them, and uh, you know what you know they need special treatment. So. Uh, Mary is busy uh, getting the bus in condition, and hopefully one of these days she'll get out on the road and uh, maybe to head down to North Carolina. That would that would now that would be now. Now of course <laughs> everybody says that. Yeah. <laughs> then then they uh, let's see now. How do we avoid? Let's see if I'm going down south or Massachusetts. Uh, well, I want to avoid North Carolina. Oh yeah, I'll take 81 over to Tennessee and then kind kind of cut down to 75 and. Yeah. How to avoid Camo Dave. Why do they do that? Why does everybody do that? Uh, Adam the Woo eating too much sugar on St. Patrick's Day. You know, he's tr been trying to lose some W-E-I-G-H-T, you know, and uh, that's, not, that's not the way to do it, Adam. <laughs> Story chasing Amber. We've been following her all the way across her miserable journey from Texas over to Florida. Looks like it's getting a little bit better now that she's in the per, 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 Perdito Key, which I have never heard of. Uh, Inspirational Nomad is also down in Florida. Now, we tried to uh, do a collab between him, Sam, and in, uh, Unstoppable Morgan, who's also down in Florida. Man, everybody's in Florida now. And, uh, and, um, uh, that didn't work. It did, well, they didn't even, didn't even come to fruition. So now let's try Inspirational Nomad Sam and Story Chasing Amber. I don't know. Maybe they would, uh, could, uh, do some interesting videos together. I, I have no idea. But we can, we can try. All right. Uh, uh, um, um, Andy, uh, Line Screw One is uh, getting ready to hit the road. He wants to be, he wants to be a homeless nomad, but he doesn't want to look like one. That's kind of what he says. So he's always prepared. You know, he's got his uh, insurance check, check, medical health insurance check. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it check, check. You know, if you're an older person, you got to have all that stuff checked. You know, you don't want to. You want to be a responsible traveler. You know, he's not one of those just take off and. Worry, you know, with no money in the bank, and then if you break down, what do you do? You do a super chat, and, you know, I don't know. He's not that kind of guy, okay? So, so he's, let's see now. Let's see if he gets over to, is he just going to stay up in Canada, right? He's Canadian, and, of course, the borders have been closed for, it's really, really hard to get over for, uh, for uh, Canadians to get over, but you can do it. There is a loophole where you can have a tra have a transportation company bring your vehicle over, and then you fly over separately, and then you meet up and have a reunion, and then you can travel around the United States. And uh, I don't know, he he could still he could do that and spend his money over here and boost our economy, and then he could uh, get busy and uh, go from thrift store to thrift store looking for Mickey Mouse dolls. <laughs> to collect like a certain other nomad. And he talks about certain uh, nomads, I guess the ones that he and we watch, that um, they are um, looking horrible, he says. They're aging so fast. 
<laughs> I wonder, I wonder who that one, I wonder who that particular person could be. Or people. I don't know. Uh, you, you know, you know, I'm just, you know, you've been watching Andy, you probably can guess. Their hair's all crazy and their beards are all crazy, so I guess so. Uh, nah, nah, stop talking about me. All right, so the only thing, so he's decided, uh, you know, he has a motorcycle. He's going to be taking that with him on a back thingy-bob there on the back of the vehicle. And uh, not going to, he doesn't need a tow car because, yeah, I mean, a car that he's going to tow because he thinks the motorcycle's better and that's probably true. You, be, you know, you could get a smart car. Put your name, put your name all over it. Line screw! <laughs> uh, the only thing he said he's debating is satellite TV because, you know, he, do, he says, I want to travel, but I want to, you know, have a certain degree of luxury. You know, he wants to have his, uh, his satellite TV. So, uh, yeah, so he can... Uh, all his favorite shows on Bravo and uh, Lifetime and all that, yeah. So, good for Andy. So, uh, yeah, he, it looks like he's not crossing the border this year. He's uh, going to Canada's most remotest hint hinterlands. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 he won't be going down to Perunt, Nevada. And he, you know, no, won't be doing... Uh, well, you don't want to do Arizona this time of the year. In the summer, it's going to be 150 degrees. And uh, yeah, Florida's going to be hot and sticky and humid. Maine would be nice, yeah. He might go over to New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. That would be... I'd like to... Okay, that's my, my vote, okay? We got all these nomads already circling Vancouver and Alberta and stuff. You know, we got Forresty Forest and Slim Potato Head and... Uh, and uh, what's his name? Chrome, Van City, Van Life. You ever hear him? He's got a little channel there. Anyway, they're all there in the West. He needs to go to the East. Go East, young man. Go East. Go to uh, Nova Scotia. Go to Prince Edward Island. I mean, that's Canada's smallest province. We never see anybody there uh, on our nomad list. And Nova Scotia and Labrador and uh, yeah, Newfoundland. That's where you got to go. Okay, Camo Dave recommends it. So do it, all right? All right, Andy? We got a new one here from uh, Amber. Now, what's her name? Um, Cindy. No, um, Robin. Hey, Robin. Yeah, there we go. I keep the names, keeping everybody's name straight. Anyway, we got the uh, Creativity RV here. Now, I think, you know, if we had to, we had to find, an, you know, she's already got a boyfriend. Okay, so Andy's out of it. Don't worry, Andy. She's already got a nice boyfriend. But, you know, she'd be a perfect match for Andy Linescrew because she likes luxury too. Okay. You know, she likes, you know, she's well coiffed and she likes luxury. And you got to see this new RV she's got. Oh, my goodness. It is beautiful. She gives us a tour of it. And it is, it is, it is like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, that is a couch that you can really take a, a good nap on. You know, I mean, a nice comfy couch. Get a nice blanket there and, uh, and, a, and a chilly winter, on a chilly spring evening. And uh, the bear, I love those pillows, the bear and the cat pillow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Uh, we ought to get, yeah, somebody ought to get a crotchy pillow. <laughs> Put crotchy's picture on it. I don't know, man. Anyway, there, okay, wait, wait, let's get the happy couple there if we can. There we go. And lots of room there to uh, do uh, jigsaw puzzles. So, uh, yeah, so. Nice, vi nice video here. A nice, she's got a beautiful vehicle. And, um, and, it's, and she does it, and it's a fifth wheel, and she does it on a budget. She did a nice job fixing it up. So Creativity Robin, nice video there, and uh, check it out. Yeah, and, and a fan. Oh, yeah, always keep, uh, plenty. You've got to have plenty of fans. That's true. You need air circulation. That's good. This, this is an excellent video. I highly recommend it. Daily Bald there, 21 minutes. Now, Mr. Bald and Bankrupt Ben, what he does is, um, I guess he takes the stuff that he didn't use on his main channel and puts it on this other channel. He has Bald and Bankrupt channel. He's His name is Ben. He goes, travels all around, East, mainly Eastern Europe, but he goes to other places too. But I love, I think his Eastern European videos are really cool. He's been in the Ukraine lately with a lot of videos. Anyway, um... So he does this thing, he looks on a satellite map and he sees what looks like this weird little town in the middle of nowhere in Ukraine, over on the eastern side of Ukraine. Now the thing about that is that in eastern Ukraine, they are having a war over there, okay? There's a lot of people fighting and so it's like there's checkpoints and army things and all this other stuff. 
So anyway, he wants to go find this crazy place out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, so the cab, the cab driver will only take him so far because the roads are all beat up and there's guards around and you can hear shots in the background. This is like an army area where there, there's a war going on just a couple miles away. But he wants to find out this crazy little, what, what is this funny little town in the middle of nowhere? So he gets there and he actually doesn't find anything. He can't get there, okay? He can't get there because there's a field and he hears gunshots and he decides um, uh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake to even try to find out like this little town or this little, it was probably some sort of military installation and he's probably going to get killed if he goes there. So he, uh, as he's heading there, he bails out and says, no, no, I'm not doing that. So you can see why he took this little film clip thing and said, you know, this is not quite, I didn't, I didn't get to where I was trying to go. So it's probably, you know, not worthy of his uh, bald and bankrupt channel, but he sticks it on daily bald and it is an, it is actually very, very, very good. It's, um, yeah, just to, to, even though he doesn't quite make it and find out what this funny little area was. Man, this guy's got cojones. I mean, good lord! You know, it, it, you know, he, it's it's a war zone. They're fighting there. You know, I mean, and he just wants to go. And even the, nobody, none of the locals will go there. No, no, the cab driver will just says no. And yet, whatever you say that in Ukrainian. Wow! Watch this one. This is just up. Great video there from Daily Ball. An SUV RVing, he's up there in Idaho. I think he's in Utah now, camping out uh, in his SUV, and uh, which we always like. And he has got a cheapo Walmart ceramic heater, and he is going to see if this $12 Walmart ceramic heater can heat his car in winter. I imagine it could, couldn't it? I mean, you're you're in an, you know, the, the smaller the room, the better it will heat, right? Anyway, he's got his big jackery there pumping it full of power. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I think that's a no-brainer, right? There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is pumping away the heat. And, uh, yeah, so I'll let you watch this. And you can see how the results of it are. But I think, especially in a small vehicle like that, yeah, it's going to get it really hot really fast, I would think. If you got the power to keep it going. Anyway, it's 23 outside and 51 inside. So, you know, yeah, kind of a mixed mixed result there. But uh, you want to watch the full the full thing, uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, it's, it's battling really cold temperatures, you know, but uh, yeah. So the final result is it didn't work as well as he thought. Anyway, check it out, SUV RVing and uh, a cheapo Walmart heater. Will it work? <laughs> okay, a, a little feature I'm going to be doing occasionally are some of the newer channels I'm subscribing to. I like to, I like to find some smaller channels and help promote them, okay? Let you see some cool channels, you know, that are kind of, we're kind of uh, nurturing the growth of smaller channels. So. Uh, this is called Fit for Expedition. See, I'm subscribing to it. Uh, one of my uh, Camo Army people recommended that I watch this. Anyway, a lot of uh, a lot of Arizona stuff here, exploration-y stuff, abandoned, can't, ab abandoned, abandoned Arizona. This is cool. Abandoned Arizona here, a dragway, uh, some festivals. Uh, road trips, a lot of Arizona stuff. Now, we love Arizona. Arizona is a wonderful state. You know, it's just wonderful, except, of course, <laughs> except, of course, is, uh, and some cooking and all that other stuff, and some hiking, too. Yeah, so uh, good stuff there. I'm, I'm checking it out. It's on my radar, Fit for Expedition. So now produce some really good dramatic videos, Fit for Expedition, and I'll start talking about you. We need drama. We need drama, okay? The more drama, the more you get talked about here on the Camo Dave channel. But nice channel here, and I'm going to be checking it out. All right, everybody. Fit for Expedition. That's our, channel, our new channel recommendation of the day. All right, everybody. That ought to do it for a little... Uh, a little morning show here for some cool channels and some latest news right here on the beautiful uh, YouTube world. Um, oh, oh, look at the guys. Aren't they, aren't they cool? Look at the whole menagerie here. Isn't that nice? I got a, I got a couple of things I want to uh, shout out to. We got, we got more packages. I'm get, these aren't yet mailed. I'm packaging up all the shirts. So I've got about seven or eight shirts that folks have ordered. Some Camo Dave shirts. So I'm busy 
finishing them up and packaging them. I also want to look at this. Isn't that cool? GB Moves, I believe that is, did a drawing of me. I got to somehow get that printed up. I put that up on the wall here. <laughs> that is, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah. And then I want to thank, I want to thank Carol Hall. Carol won the, um, Carol won the contest, uh, the uh, Camo Day Birthday Cup Swag Bag Contest. She's down there in Florida. And she sent me a few things to thank me. Uh, marble Light Up Balloons, perfect for parties. We'll, we'll pop some of these out on the next uh, live chat probably on uh, Saturday morning. And, or maybe that maybe this would be better for the uh, one in the evening when we're having a, a little bit of uh, indulgence in some uh, adult beverages. And she also sent me these really cool um, mini aliens. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Tiny little aliens. I can stick these all around Morganton and scare people. So thank you so much, Carol. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I'll talk to you later. Vlog under.